Darius Guys denies rape claims from two former LSU students. NFL running back Darius Guys is adamant he did not rape two women back in 2016 while attending LSU, despite new claims to the contrary. Both women claim Guys raped them in their own apartments after a night of heavy boozing and both claim the allegations were reported to LSU but never properly investigated. The women each spoke with USA Today Sports but have not revealed their identities publicly. The first woman says she drunkenly passed out on her bed after throwing a party and later began to have flashbacks of guys assaulting her. Plus, she claims other football players at the party said guys had bragged about having sex with her that night. The accuser said she told a friend on the diving team about the incident, who told her diving coach. The diver claims the coach reported the incident to LSU athletics officials. The accuser claims she later got an email from an LSU official following up on the allegations, but nothing really came of it. However, the accuser claims LSU coach Ed Orgeron mentioned the incident later to her then-boyfriend, a player on the LSU football team. The player told USA Today Sports, Orgeron made comments telling him not to be bothered by Geis' involvement with the accuser because everybody's girlfriend sleeps with other people. The player doesn't know exactly how much Orgeron knew about the incident. The second accuser, a former LSU tennis player, claims Geis also sexually assaulted her after a night of drinking. The woman later went to rehab for substance abuse issues and in 2017 told a rehab staffer about the alleged rape. The staffer allegedly reported to the allegation to LSU but the accuser claims it was never properly investigated. For his part, Guy's attorney Peter D. Greenspan told USA Today Sports the allegations are baseless and looking to make Guy's look worse after his recent domestic violence arrest in Virginia. At no time were allegations of physical or sexual assault brought against Darius during his years as a student athlete at LSU, Greenspan told USA Today. To bring up such assertions only after the Virginia charges were initiated certainly calls into question the credibility, nature and timing of what is being alleged years later. Such speculation and innuendo should not be the basis for Darius to be required to make any comment at all but he wants to be absolutely clear. The allegations in this story are just that and have no basis in fact. Guys, a talented running back, was released by the Washington football team earlier this month after cops say he violently attacked a woman he was romantically involved with on three separate occasions from February to April. LSU issued a generic statement but did not address the guy's allegations specifically. LSU and LSU Athletics take all accusations of sexual assault with the utmost seriousness. Formal complaints are promptly and fully investigated and the rights and privacy of students are protected as stipulated by the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. Complainants are also strongly encouraged to report the offense to law enforcement and are provided information on health care, counseling and supportive measures available. Stay tuned for more news. It's been a while. It's been a while, but I'm coming out of